Okay guys, so before we get into this demo, I wanted to announce the winner of last week's big, big giveaway. And the winner of this one is Books, Teacups, Crystals. So congratulations, that's awesome. Go ahead and email me your physical address at oldmomnewtrix at gmail.com and I will get your big box of bath bombs out to you as soon as I can. And thank you to everyone who entered. I really appreciate it. I love you guys and um, just enjoy the demo. Thanks a lot. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to do my very last Shoot for the Stars Lush Bath Bomb. And so it's old just like the rest of them. So I'm hoping that it won't be a dud, but you know, we'll see. And if not, you know, I will have used them up, used up my stash. So, um, and you know what? That wasn't my last Golden Wonder. I told y'all it was, but it wasn't. I have one more. So, um, not that I'm super excited to use it, but you know, a bath bomb's a bath bomb, right? You're not gonna waste it. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll smash it and see what's inside. Anyway, so this is Sheet for the Stars and it's in the Honey I Wash the Kids scent, um, which is, of course, it's the um, honey and Brazilian orange oil and uh, bergamot. And this is um, one of my very favorites too because it's it's nice and sweet, but you can also smell that, that orange oil in it very, very well, so. and. This watercolor is gorgeous. I think this is the very first Lush Balm that I used. And of course I was drawn to the color. That's why. Oh, the scent is amazing. I might actually pull this out and look at the stars because I've never done that before. I've seen so many people do that. But I never have, so maybe I will. Ah, so cool. Let it go now. <laughs> I've just never seen that. Ooh, so, so soft. Well, unless it pops back up, there's probably not going to be any more of a show with this one either. But there's so much shimmer in this water. And if you've seen this bomb demoed anywhere else, which you probably have a million times, you'll know that it turns this water just this beautiful, beautiful, bright blue color. And um, it's just, just filled with gold luster. That's so cool. I've just never noticed that it looked like that. And this is probably my third or fourth, I don't know, maybe my fifth sheet for the stars. We'll do this. Maybe they'll float. Y'all have something to look at. Maybe not. No. <laughs> <clears throat> the watercolor is so, so pretty, though. So if nothing else, y'all are getting a look at what um what some old bombs will do, or maybe what they won't do. But the fragrance in all these is still still just the same, still nice and strong. That's it. It's really, really pretty. Okay, well, let's turn on the jets and see if we have any bubbles. Oh, 
I love that color. It's so, so pretty. No, I don't think we're going to get any bubbles in this one either, but that's okay. The scent is amazing. I love it. It's one of my very favorite Lush scents. It's one of my only <laughs> favorite Lush scents. But, um, no, it's getting a little fizz on top now. But anyway, I'm going to hop on in here, and um, I'm going to already go ahead and let you know that there's going to be all that gold luster is going to be at the bottom for us to, you know, rinse down when it's over, but it's probably not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. So it's actually funny when I go to turn off the jets for a minute and then I go hop in the shower before I get back in the bathtub. Sometimes the prettiest that this water gets is when it just swirls and dies back down. So I thought that I would show you this shot because I just thought it was just turning out really, really pretty. Okay, so here's the water color close up. And sorry about the reflections. I didn't show you guys the color close up before. It's filled with shimmer. And those little beads on top are obviously they're from the melts and the stars. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. Okay, you guys, so here is what's left of the Shoe for the Stars Balm from Lush in my golden tub in all its glory now. Um, I love this balm. I really do. I love the scent. I love the color. But um, I wanted to mention to you guys, don't be afraid to try other companies and indie companies thinking that um, you might be afraid that they might do something to your tub because I have had some of the biggest messes um, to clean up from Lush Balms. Um, and it hasn't like been that big of a problem or anything, but just um, just don't think that they're the holy grail and they'll not mess up your tub just because they're lush. Um, also, obviously if you see all the shimmer that's stuck to my tub, you can bet that there is a whole lot of shimmer stuck to my, um, to my skin here. But um, that's fine, I don't mind this little luster. I think it's, that's pretty cool. So, um, Anyway, yeah, I think I think that's really it for today. I'm going to go ahead and end this awesome Christmas in, Del in July series that um, was my brilliant idea to use all my old Lush Christmas balms. But um, I can't wait to get back to doing some demos for you guys, uh, some balms that I haven't tried and that maybe you haven't seen demoed before. So, um, yeah, I guess I will just see you guys back here next time, and I really appreciate you watching. See you later. Bye-bye.